going on guys? James Klug here. Today we are at the 2020 Women's March and we're talking to people about why we believe women are doing great with Trump as president. Let's go talk to some people. He's basically an evil man okay. and he's basically all for himself okay. and that's all. Okay. Uh, it's all about money. Econo and it is great. It's all about money. It should be all about money because women economically are thriving under Trump. Women what? Economically, financially. What's the question? Economically. What's the question? No, it was a statement. That's that's a global initiative. It's actually the first of its kind as well, which is working with other co countries, trying to get women in places, uh, break down barriers for women to get in places of power, to actually reduce reduce terrorism, reduce conflict, because studies show. Does he not even get by saying that how ridiculous it is? Does he not? Like, first of all, by the way... Well, I was, you interrupted me. Why don't we start with what Donald Trump, we all know to be true, is that what Donald Trump has done is lie. Well, well hold on, Dis wait, wait, dispute what I was just talking about. Beginning with the inaugural, with the inauguration. Women, Peace and Security Act, Act, dispute what I was just talking about, please. I don't need to do that because you want to be Because you can't. You Whatever gives him more money and okay. power, so if and if, know, if, if he actually really did care. The day, Let's say even if he's doing it for his own benefit, whether it be ego or something, if it's benefiting women, then who the hell cares? It's not benefiting any women, period. But yes, it is. I'm, I'm telling them what's it. good that's happening You're globally. You're something from a male perspective, so it still isn't going to matter. Because what, because I'm a, a male? Uh, you're very observant. And I know, and I'm very wise. You will never know what it's like to be a woman. You can put on a pink shirt, and you I'm can not, talk I'm not about I'm not, I'm not pretending to know. I'm not pretending to know what it's like to be a woman. Are you a Trump supporter? I, I yeah. I mean, he's what probably Are get my vote. Are you dead ass serious right now? Are you a Trump supporter? Trump will get my vote in 2020. Yes. <laughs> get the f out of my face. Over 65 year low of of women's unemployment. Women are continuing their streak of being the majority of college graduates since 1982. Not to mention. Uh, over seven million new jobs under Trump, uh, uh, half of which have gone to women, and they're good jobs. Like minimum wage jobs? Yes. Yeah, so no, no, no. Many, there's quite good many, jobs. How in many fact, people are homeless. What are the what are the what are the numbers of homeless people? I mean, Trump's not going to solve homelessness. Really? That's what the president is supposed to do. Solve homelessness? What's there's there not equal for? pay. No, there wait, 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 what's what's pay? the wage gap? Really quick. I don't need to tell you a number. I can tell you from a living experience. Women anecdotal evidence is not pay. strong evidence. This My is, evidence? On. It's anecdotal. This, I live it. Oh, yeah, that's the definition of anecdotal evidence. Anecdotal evidence is is reality. Oh, you're very fake news. Okay, well, anyways, you guys, it was a pleasure you're speaking with you. I Hopefully you can learn how to be respectful to people you disagree with. You're standing here in a pink shirt saying to people, I know this and I know this number. It's not your life. I'm looking hella cute in this pink shirt, by the way. Mm. I bought him that picture. You know women make as much money as no. you for the if same you, job. If, if, if you define... Well, then be quiet, because you don't know. No, so no, then no, no. I do know if you just let me talk instead of talking no. over me. I can talk over you because you're telling me you know, and then I say, how? And you say, well, I don't know. You're not letting no, me explain don't. it. Yeah, so, what number are you talking about? Are we talking about 70 cents to a man's dollar? What, what, no, what are we talking about? Why do I have to give you a number between wage gap? Because that, that chooses that what, means... what, what I'm breaking down for you. So if you were to do 77 cents to a man's dollar, that's only if you divide the median median earnings of full-time women by the median earnings of full-time men. That's all that is. That doesn't account for uh, occupation, education, hours worked. That doesn't here's, account for any of that stuff. So, so it's disingenuous to bring it up. You're saying I'm disingenuous? Uh, you're you either, you're, I'm disingenuous? It's, it's, it's either A. No, no, A. Am I, am I disingenuous? You're asking me a question, I'm trying to answer it. No, then answer the question, yes or no, it's simple. Can you do that? Does he know you? Can you do that? If you're, if, Can you do that? If you're trying to lie to people, it's disingenuous. If you're just I'm not lying. Facts, I said, are you facts. calling me? If you don't know are the facts. Are you calling me? If I don't know your facts? No, no, those are the Guess facts. Guess what? Donald Trump thinks that more people came to his inauguration than Barack Obama. There was a picture. What does that have to do with what we're just talking I'm about? Would you take this deal, okay? The coronavirus lasts longer and is more severe, but Trump is guaranteed out of office in November. Oh gosh, yeah, I would definitely take that deal. Would you take that deal? Yes, I'll take it. How many people would need to die from the coronavirus for you not to take that deal? I would say a million? What if it went to a million people that die from coronavirus? Would you still take the deal? Sure, yeah, get them out. Let's go. If your sister or father passed away from the coronavirus, would you still take that deal? For sure, yeah, absolutely. 
You guys, I'm sorry. I'm not talking about 1%. I'm not talking even third. I'm yeah. talking about at least half. At least half? Yes. Why is, can't black people lead the police? They can't. Why can't, why can't do my... Why he does it in Chicago. Them? They do it in I'm Minneapolis. I'm talking about half. I'm talking about half. The black community is 13% of the population. That's including women. I think you'd be hard-pressed to get 50% so, of police so forces black. So representation is based on, on, a, on a percentage then. So each race... Not necessarily, but I'm just saying you might okay, have trouble so, with that. So you're saying if black people only account for 13% of the population, they only get 13% of no, the rights? No, that's not what I'm saying. That's exactly what you said. That's, that's not exactly what I said. What but you had to note that 13, only 13% of the U.S. population is black. So what, what, is, what is your issue? Are you, are you saying no, that they should be I don't have an issue with it. I'm just saying you might be hard pressed. They should be eliminated then? They're, eliminated they're, from what? I don't know. You noted that only less, less than 20% of the population is black. So their rights are are, should be mitigated on that? They when, be, when, did they I, be, when did I start talking about rights? Well, it just seems, I, it, it, you're, you're just no, making stuff up in order to make your argument is, sound good. You don't really know what you're talking about because you're not really defending what you're... What, I just came here and totally destroyed everything that you that you could potentially you just, you just You just gave me a bunch of uh, afactual information. Blue so, well, lives don't exist! Blue lives don't exist! Who are you with? I'm, I'm with me, James Clue. Yeah, what's so up, what's up, man? What do I care? You sound like, a, you look like an ass to me. I don't know. Okay. Well, I don't, we don't need to talk. That's fine. Okay. okay. off out of here. What? I hope you off out of here eventually. We're having civil debates with people, man. There's no yeah, reason to be aggressive. Side. I don't know what you're dealing with. Well, doing they, they agree with me, so there's no point in that. Yeah, well, nobody agrees with you here, so. Yeah, that's why I'm here. Yeah, I don't know why. Because we, we're having civil political debates. Listen to what people are saying here Yeah. and not get some f***ing, like, bite-sized bull for whatever you're what a Twitter show or whatever you're doing. My Twitter show? Yes, there are more white deaths, but there's a greater white population in the United States. If you do it know. by percentages. Hey, what you're doing that what you're doing right there is you're looking at total population. That looking at that is built on a faulty premise. You're using the total population and the majority of people don't even encounter police. That's not the, that's not you the need point. you yes it is. I don't know what the f***ing point is. It's my, like, my point is keeping all communities safer, not not like, not making like, communities more dangerous by getting rid of police. Oh, you're f***ing wrong. Okay, ex tell me how I'm wrong. I'm not gonna waste my time, okay? Because you're f***ing scum. I, I, you're, you're a very nice man. These law-abiding citizens don't support this stuff in their communities. They want police presence, and they want a good relationship with police as well. If anything, we should be investing more in training for, or, or programs for developing better relationships with police officers in these communities. Okay. That's what's really gonna help, man. I, I, and I think you agree with that. I could, I could partially agree with that. They don't have the money to put these resources in the communities because we're funding the police. She, she's very disrespectful. I'm telling you that Buena Park, where I live, gave the. Okay, rolling his eyes. Can you finish the? Because part? you're being, you're being. Hey, hey, hey that's give my me property. Stuff. Give me my stuff. What are you doing? Hey. Where, where'd my sign go? I'm sorry. It's gone. I'm sorry. Are you for or against the riots that we've been seeing across the nation right now? A little bit of both. Okay. Honestly, I have mixed feelings about it. Are we for or against the riots we've been seeing across the nation? This is a deep question. Yeah. It's deep. It's deep. Wow. <laughs> Support. Support? Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would say it's definitely uh, happening for a reason. Do you guys have uh, siblings? Yes, we do. What do you got? I have three brothers and I have one sister. What do you got? I have two sisters and one brother. Okay. Let's say your guys' brother or sister was out in these riots, ended up getting killed. Would that change your opinion of the riots or do you think still think it would be worth it for the cause? I think if my brother truly believes, like if he was a good sacrifice for what we're standing up for, for the next generation, then I'm gonna be with him and may God be with, you know, with my siblings and stuff and I'll just respect him for that. If your brother or your sister were in a riot and they, they died in a riot, would that change your mind on the outlook of these riots or no? It would not. What I do understand, however, is there are way, way larger problems in the black community that if Black Lives larger Matter problems, actually focused on for a quick second could save way irrelevant. more lives. Larger problems are irrelevant. When Nipsey Hussle died, they didn't march. When these kids that are killed in the hands of other black people... Sequoia they Turner, yeah. Sequoria Turner on march. the left so, right there and Zaymar jo so Jones down I, on the bottom. I hate to say it like this, but... <laughs> these people, man. They don't care none about us. You mentioned uh, their main purpose is focusing on police shootings. 
if you were to get rid of all police shootings, you would reduce the black homicide rate by less than one third of 1%. Although it's an issue, it's the size of an ant compared to black on black murder in the inner city community. No one black would take your stance. Only a white person would take your stance. He agrees with me right over there and he's That's black. That's him and he's an individual. That doesn't count for the uh, whole. You, you literally just said no one. They leverage the police murders the because they have a far other, left political you're agenda. You cloud that issue with other situations. And that is that are that a, are that, far that, greater issues. That's a crime. No, to you because you're white. No, they're not no, greater the, issues for, to black. Yes, they are. You can't say they are because you're not black. How many unarmed black Americans were killed by police last year? Go. Enough uh, for Black how, Lives Matter. How, how I don't many? have the answer to that question, Just, and nor do I need one to have an opinion. There were 14, half of which were assaulting police officers. Now I'm not excusing all of these, that but what I am saying, let lie. me finish. No, that it's is that a is, is not a lie. That's, that's a lie according you can to the news broadcast. Washington Post. You can go that's look at the lie statistics right now. The news broadcast. There were more than 14 for one, that's and incorrect. two, they weren't all assaults on police officer, and three, if they were assaults, no, no, no I didn't say all. I said half. Uh, half of them were not assaults on police officers. Your information that's, that's is correct. not I've gone only incorrect, but you're misusing the information. And even no, if you no, were I'm not, that doesn't make Black Lives Matter irrelevant. I'm you not, are I never said. I never said that Black Lives Matter issue. is irrelevant. Why are you making the? Why are you trying to cloud the issue? Why are you trying to put words in my mouth? I didn't. I made a statement, and it's correct. These people do not give a about us. Excuse my language. I'm sorry. I gotta. I'm. I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, it's lit right now. I'm, this is lit. These people don't care, and I'm tired of seeing this in the news. These motherfuckers do not care about us. They turn up black-owned businesses, but they for black. How you gonna yell out Black Lives Matter? You turn out, turn up black-owned businesses. Well, that doesn't make any sense to me. You know what I'm saying? So, f these people, f Black Lives Matter. I don't need a T-shirt to tell you that my life matter. <laughs> this is actually like our first outing, so I'm not trying to spend too much time no, on it, okay. honestly. Is this your first date? No, we're coworkers. Yeah, right, 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 right. right. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Stop filming. Oh, <laughs> he killed it. Do you agree with Black Lives Matter or no? Yes, I do. Do you agree? I wanted to say something, but I don't. Say it. Get in, get in there. I just feel like Black Lives don't matter because they don't matter with themselves because they're killing one another. And also, aside of the media, it's like being perpetrated as the black community is doing this and this and this, and that the Democrats are helping the black community, but really they're not helping the black community. And I think that the black community when you when you separate yourself from that whole black lives matter now you not you're no longer black or you're no longer a part of the crew and that's not true you're just saying yes you do matter but you just matter as a person and not as a color we have popular chants obviously at the protests now one of them is is um, no borders no nation abolish deportation abolish deportation are we both on board for that i am I am. Oh yeah, 100%. Like, my parents are illegal immigrants, so yeah, down with that. All, always, always, yeah. The other night, we have, um, we have uh, a BLM organizer talking to a group of, of protesters. I was, I was actually in the crowd. As for the, the, the BLM organizer speaking to the crowd, uh, essentially telling everyone, hey, if you see Trump supporters around here, Kill them. jump on their heads. Yeah. Everybody that, that's uh, Trump's little homies, Get on their heads. I don't give a f I'm telling y'all truth. Get on their heads. I don't give a f Now, I, I know there was, there was a, a shooting uh, recently. A, Jacob Blake? Uh, no, 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 in Portland. There was a shooting of a Trump supporter recently. Awesome. Um, <laughs> I don't think I've heard of another Trump supporter being shot. So the f what? He got shot. Is he alive? Uh, I believe he died. Oh. Tough luck. Don't be a f Trump supporter in Portland. You want to talk about sucking my d Excuse me? Yes, you want to talk about sucking my d Why? Why would I want to talk about that? Suck, suck my d Really? Yeah. <laughs> I knew that was not going to make it. You don't need to board. talk to me. No, get the f*** out the park. You need to leave. You don't need to no, talk to me. No, you need to leave. You come down here with that bully. Well, I'm going gonna, gonna to move away from no, our conversation yeah, and I'm going to go talk to somebody else. Get the f*** out of here. Don't, get the f*** out of here. We're having a respectful get the conversation. Out of here. No, you get the f*** out of here. You're not respectful. You ask me what Get a disrespect, get the f out! No, I didn't. I came here to have you civil political debates. Yes, a mouth! Yes, yes, a mask. Bro! Why am I not allowed to? Why am I not allowed to? Because you're here to f me! I'm gonna get out of here. Get the f out! Get the f out! Get the f out of here!
Holy oh, Come on, man. Help. America okay. needs no, no, no. I'm trying to talk to this man. Yeah. But I'm trying to figure out for the life of me why are y'all being so antagonistic towards him? That's okay. what I'm saying. I can explain. When he, that, when he, said, he, said, he clearly stated he Actually, wasn't a proud boy. I have it on video. He's not associated yeah, no, with I, I completely agree. He walked and I can, into the I can crowd. Agree. Okay. He walked into the crowd and okay. stated, Trump is not a racist. I, I believe Trump's that's not a racist. Who cares? Who cares? I believe Trump's yeah, not a racist. Oh, sorry. No, but everybody a proud has a right to their no, You guys are so intolerant that you want to shut down political discussion between anybody. Nazi? What's your basis for saying that? I'm a fascist. What's your basis for saying that? Because I just decided that you are, bro. Why do you think that the gay community in in in, in this country is, uh, you know, has has growing support for Donald Trump? I mean, honestly, that kind of contradicts everything I'd expect from the gay community. As I feel Donald Trump is just homophobic in general. This is a gay Trump supporter, David. Hello. This is Michael. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Uh, Michael was saying how he believes that uh, Donald Trump kind of supports, uh, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but kind of supports maybe homophobic actions. Could you maybe dig into that for David? David has grown, he, he's a part of that growing support for Donald Trump, but could you dig into that for us? Well, not as, I wouldn't say necessarily homophobic, but I just don't really see him as focused on inclusivity. And I feel like, especially in the gay community. The Trump administration is actually the first administration in American history to lead a global initiative to decriminalize homosexuality around the world. They don't talk about that on the media, but it's actually true. Hmm. So what are, your, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, I've never heard so, of that before, but I mean, Trump being pro-gay, yes, I guess that is true. No, they're not facts at all. They are facts. They're things that you believe because you read them in some bizarre right-wing uh, newspaper or some Breitbart or some place like that. And they're not facts, and they can all be disputed. I don't have at my ha at my hand right now the facts to dispute each one of those right. issues so, that so you my say. Question, so uh, Breitbart is biased, but the New York Times isn't. Correct. Yeah, he's, yeah? he's, he's condemned uh, white supremacy over 20 times. Oh yes, when? Could you could, could you tell me when? Yeah, absolutely. Would you like to see a video of uh, montage of uh, of 20 times that he's done it? Oh, actually, no. I'm more interested in walking well, up in. But how are we going to learn if we don't if we don't challenge our ideas? I mean, you, you just made a statement that yeah. is actually inaccurate, and oh, I can yeah. show you video evidence of why why it is. I mean, would you like to see that? No, no, thank you. Have you listened Prove to me wrong. seconds of anything he says? Uh, yes, he's no, he's no, condemned no, white no, supremacy no. in the KKK over 20 times. Over 20 times? Yeah. Do you have them right here? Can I listen to it? Absolutely you can. Let me pull it up for you right now. Alright. By the way, I'm James. How's your day going, man? It's, I'd be a lot better if you guys were wearing masks. <laughs> we can socially distance. Yeah, I gotta go. I'm wait, wait, wait. You don't want to see the examples? I have 20 examples right here. He is a white supremacist. What, what is your basis for saying that? I have 20 examples right here. Come watch. Something interesting, um, his support among the black community is actually relatively high compared to previous Republican presidents. Some polls even showing as high as 25% support in the black community. Why do you guys think that is? Oh, I'm shocked at that, actually, because I would have thought it would have been the opposite. Maybe the gang mentality of him, I mean, he is, to me, he's just a narcissistic man baby, but it's almost like his thug gang mentality. They just nuts like him. They're just nuts like him. They're nuts. They damn nuts like him. So they're supporting him. What are your thoughts on black jump supporters just in general? They're sellouts. That's my opinion. Where are we at? Hey, Amir, who's on over here? This is my good friend, Amir. Amir is a black Trump supporter. Hi. You're a sellout, and I don't understand why. I mean, if selling out means appreciating that black people are being released from jail, that black unemployment was at an all-time low, that securing funding for black HBCUs, that makes appreciating those things makes me a sellout, then I'll be a sellout all day, because that is helping the black community. Could you guys kind of maybe elaborate on that for Amir, a black Trump supporter? I mean, I suppose he hasn't... So I'm trying to think specifically come out and said anything. I'm trying to think off the top of my head, racist about African Americans. I suppose I'm thinking more about he won't denounce the white supremacists. He's denounced white supremacy over 20 times now. Amir is a, a Trump black supporter. Trump supporter. Okay. She believes that you, a black Trump supporter, to quote you, are nuts. What about Trump do you not like that um, compared to Biden? Um, he's a big liar. Everything. What? He is a trickster. He is a damn. He's a liar. You trust him? I'm. I'm, wait, I, I'm asking for a lie that he said. Everything. Everything. Like he haven't said anything that was true since he's been in the White House. 
Like what? Hey, everything. A lot of everything. Is it everything. true that black unemployment is at a low? Well, before COVID, no, is it at a low? No, 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 that's not true. That's not true. Okay, I'm talking about finances, money, jobs, and stuff like that. He came in and squandered and stealing every damn thing he can get for him and his children. God bless you, young man. Well, all right.